Hey there, fellow builders and kindred spirits. I wanted to share something that has been actually meaning to share for probably like two months now. And probably in full honesty, I haven't shared it because it's one of those embarrassing things of like, oh dear God, what was I thinking in my childhood? So even though I know it's important to share, yeah, I think that I have been too embarrassed to share it until now. But in honor of Tuesday and ICU Day, I decided to go ahead and share this with you today. So over the summer, I was going through old photos from my childhood and I stumbled across this photo and I was shocked and embarrassed by the photo because I just thought, oh my God, if this was not a cry for help um, and just a, a visual illustration of how disconnected I was from my body and, and how much I was struggling with body image, then I don't know what else is. So I'm gonna share the picture with you now. I will take a picture of it and put it um, below too, if you wanna see it, because I don't know how well it's gonna show up on the live feed. But, so this picture is from 1994. So that would make me like um, 12, maybe 13. So here is the picture. So do you remember back in the day, in the good old eighties and nineties where they had on family vacations, those like photo booths, like now they have the Western ones where you can dress up in Western gear and like pretending to be in a saloon. Well, apparently where we were, you could be a swimsuit model. And so my 12 year old self wanted to be a swimsuit model. So they have the green screen in the background and then you put your face there and you get to be whoever the picture was. Oh my God, I'm mortified right now sharing this, I'm gonna be honest. And so apparently at 12 years old, I was already at war with my body so much to the point that I wanted to look like the swimsuit issue. So let, let me zoom in. Like, so on a body image level, like this is just a cry for help of me being so dissatisfied with the body I had and being flooded with images from society and from Sports Illustrated of what women are supposed to look like or what women should look like that I thought that's what I needed to look like too. Mind you, at 12, I should never look like this chick. And on a parenting side note, mom and dad, like what on earth were you thinking allowing me to get this picture done? Like over-sexualized, hello? Like, oh my God, parenting fail, mom and dad. So, and when I saw this, a flashback memory came to my mind of, oh my God, y'all, I had a t-shirt made. So I had a t-shirt that had a picture like this, except for that, the swimsuit on me, the my face, someone else's body wearing a swimsuit was a leopard swimsuit. Like, oh Lord, 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 Lord. So I'm sharing this with you and sucking up my embarrassment because this is still an issue, guys. Like in our society, this sexual, like over-sexualization of our youth, like obviously if I did not see anything wrong with this and thought that this was appropriate at 12 years old, that indicates that I was already over-sexualized, okay? And I was being uh, object objectified, sexually objectified since my earliest memory was fourth grade. So what are you in fourth grade, like 10? So that means I already had two or three years of being brainwashed by sexual objectification that I thought it was okay. And then I was se sexually objectifying myself. Like, woo, woo, big problem here, guys. And then on the issue of body image, I obviously was so disconnected and dissatisfied with my body and wanted to change it so bad that I was putting my face on someone else's body so that I could idealize that, so that I could dream about what I would look like if I was that and if I did obtain that. Oh my God, like so unhealthy for a pre-adolescent. Like it makes me sad for this girl. Like I am sad for this girl. And I just wanna tell her, you are beautiful. You do not need to be sexual. You do not need to look like you're 25 years old when you're 12. Like 
No, you're amazing the way you are. You don't need to show your body to anyone in order to be loved. And so I hope that whether you're 12 or 24, that you know that. And so that's my message for you tonight is that your body is amazing the way that it is now. I see you through eyes of love and I want you to see yourself through eyes of love. You can connect to your body without objectifying your body. You can connect with your body without being, um, without feeling like that its only purpose is a sexual being. Like your body is this amazing vessel. Um, so embrace it, embrace you. And you are beautiful and amazing just the way you are. You don't need to try to obtain these false images of what beauty and what um, sexuality is. So that's my message for tonight. And I hope that comes through by sharing my very embarrassing story. And if you have um, preteens and adolescents in your household and you're seeing those warning signs, these are red flags that they are disconnected from their body and that they're struggling with body image issues. So uh, keep an eye out for those things. If, they, <laughs> if they're at the mall, I'm trying to get their face on the green screen of a 25 year old swimsuit model. That's a red flag. Okay. <laughs> so, um, everyone have a good night. Love yourselves, love each other and see each other through eyes of love the way that I see you. All right. Much love. Thanks. Bye.